The final day of a hearing to decide the future of suspended Gopher football players is happening right now at the University of Minnesota. The 10 players and their attorneys are presenting their side to a sexual misconduct conduct subcommittee of three students. Yesterday, an attorney for the university presented its findings, and the woman accusing the players of sexual misconduct told her story in the closed meeting. Nina Morney is at the university right now, and she's following this hearing. Nina? Hi, Amelia. It has really been a long couple of days for all of the people involved here. Yesterday, the hearing went on for about 10 hours. Today, it started at 1 o'clock. It's supposed to wrap up with some closing arguments tonight around 10 o'clock. These 10 uh, student players are challenging their suspensions and expulsions in front of the committee that you talked about. We're told that committee is made up of two undergraduate students and one graduate student. We're told they are volunteers serving on this com uh, committee and they can either uphold or overturn the university's decision. Second day. An attorney for nine of the ten players walked into the closed meeting, followed by his clients. Five of them are facing expulsion. Well, you can't conclude evidence that's not there, and that's where there has to be some critical analysis of the way the investigation was held. The allegations of sexual misconduct stem from an incident in September when a female student says she was sexually attacked by several men in an off-campus apartment. The allegations against the men range from those who had sexual contact with the woman to those who were witnesses and allegedly encouraged the activity. I'm fearful that we won't get a fair trial. My fear and problem is this. Uh, the university has told me I have 31.6 minutes to prove my case for each of the guys. The last of the 10 accused, Antoine Winfield Jr., has his own attorney and denies having any sexual contact with the woman. Well, he's upset. He's scared. Um, he knows in his heart of heart what he did and did not do, and I hope he gets exonerated for that. One thing we do want to mention that keeps coming up in some of the questions we get about this entire proceeding is that this is not a criminal matter that we're talking about here at this hearing. This is about these students as standing with the university, what they'll be able to do as students here, and if they'll be able to stay in school here. The Hennepin County attorney did review evidence uh, related to this case and declined to press charges. So, Dina, how long again um, does the panel have to make a decision? So this panel will have one week starting tomorrow, Amelia, to make a decision. And if that decision is one that the players and their attorneys don't like, then they can send an appeal to the university provost. If that doesn't go their way either, then it'll likely end up in federal court. All right, Nina. Thank you.